What's happening, homies? Back with another race commentary. Uh, this time, Tour of America's Dairyland Day 3 at the Giro de Grafton. Pretty boring race, honestly. Um, I tried to just stick in after the previous day where all I did was eat wind. I decided, you know, get to the front and stay behind maybe the first five, ten wheels. Just kind of really try to conserve after wasting so much energy the day before and still coming ninth. So, you know, I really thought that maybe I could improve on that. Especially as there were about 60 riders here and only about 35 at the on the third day. Um, we jump ahead to the middle, uh, middle of the race, where the only move I really make and attempt to go with um, is this guy right here. He's the PSI Met team, Psi Met team. Uh, he came around me near the front. Uh, the group had really bunched up together and I decided, okay, I, I'll jump on this. Maybe we can get a break going. The course actually could have lended itself pretty good to a breakaway. Um, these the middle part, section of the course in this back half is not great for the breakaway but there's the final corner into the final straightaway is really sharp and if you can take it at speed and everyone else can't because they're in the pack you could really open up some time there and as we come into the second or third to last corner we, we only have maybe a couple seconds gap so i decide i gotta punch it if i really want to make it to the line and maybe someone jumps across as they see me uh you know picking up speed and so I, you know, punch it up to 600 watts and I hold it for quite some time, uh, you know, for about 10, 15 seconds there, come to the corner. And this is the downhill section of the course, up it again to about 600 watts. And, and I really start to pick up speed here and I get up to 30, 31 miles an hour. And this was the fastest I took this corner all, all race. And I, I take it corner, well, not corner to corner, but corner to corner almost into the tree almost into the <laughs> into the curb uh make it out alive and spike it up real soon afterwards because it's about 300 meters to the line and it's just <sighs> there was too too many people too close to me and they got in my draft and then I, I turned around and saw that they were in my draft and knew i had absolutely no chance so you know that was the one move i made all race and otherwise i just decided you know i gotta keep it conservative and I want to save energy and I did just that and we'll skip ahead here to the final two laps where I kind of blow it all after saving all my energy you know I really just make too many mistakes so we're jumping back in with two laps to go um, and I'm about 15th ish wheel it's it's not a terrible position but normally um, I noticed throughout the race that on this back half of the course you could really make up quite a few positions uh, and I was banking on that in the final two laps unfortunately there it was since it was a bigger race there's a lot more people motivated about 70 people and so the pace stayed high uh, even through the back uh, section where you're going a little bit uphill and there's not much room to be made up here in this chicane, not even really a chicane, it's just two quick turns. <laughs> um, and so I, I end up staying in about where I am, about 15th to 20th wheel, which is a little bit too far back um, as we come into the second to last corner. Um, but I do know that, you know, it's not the end of it yet um, as I spike it up and I make up some spots and I get lucky because they do actually bunch up together. You know, I really lucked out there um, and I move up a couple spots, but it starts to get swarmy because it's just slowing down too much. We come into that corner and you can see it's already wide and we're going into the fast part of the course uh, where we come into that about 130, 140 degree turn. Um, and you'll, you'll see here, I, I took it alone. I could took it 31 miles an hour. And but when you're together, everyone grabs brakes and you kind of have to take it at 27, 28. And so you can see the guys up front have already opened up maybe. 50 to 60 meters from me and I was sitting about 12th wheel there and that's that's really the benefit of getting to that corner first and this race was really a race of getting to the last corner first even though it's a 300 meter drag and I think that's really where I make my my fatal my fatal mistake in which I it, it just takes me out of it but, but we'll see that here soon we come into the last lap here you know ring the bell and it's starting to get a little swarmy honestly even going 31 people are coming around uh eat and win and I decide, you know, I, now's the time I need to move up. And I try, I try to do that, you see. And we come into the back half of the course. And I just, I just like, I was grabbing too much break a little bit. I, that was about half of it. And the other half was, man, I did not expect it to get this fast. This was really my first big race. Uh, and this was the first time I'd raced with over 40 people. And so almost double that amount. I just didn't realize how much faster adding only 30 people would really make it. And you can see it's already strung out and that's kind of 
that's kind of the issue, right? I need to be moving up, but I'm just staying in the same spot, if not moving back. And I think I start to realize that here, right before um, the final two corners. I spike it up to a thousand watts, but I'm not in the draft. It's, it's just really the first time I had ever experienced the like the the last lap speed where like you really can't get around someone. And as we come into this final corner, it's just too strung out. And you'll you'll see up ahead that the leaders, the guys who get into this corner first, probably a hundred meters ahead of me. And there's only three hundred meters left to race, so it's it's over, right? And the really frustrating thing apart about this race is that I still, I pop off like a, a very good sprint. I touch a little over 1200 max and hold 1100 for five seconds pretty easily. Sit back down, push 800 watts for the next 20 seconds. And then, you know, as I realize I can come around them, I punch it back up to maybe 750. And then I, I cruise in. It, it, it's just a disappointing way to finish the race, uh, especially after I had such a pretty solid sprint um, from conserving energy the whole race, right? Just used it in the wrong place. Overall, I ended up doing pretty decent at Toad. Um, I took fourth overall uh, through the series, got on the podium one of the days, and a fourth another day. So I'm, I'm happy with how the series went, and you know, looking forward to come back next year. And you know, if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe. Um, new races coming soon. Uh, season starts here in a couple weeks, so yeah, getting excited.